This is Ryan mounting <laughs> our sleds for tomorrow onto the dog truck. There's a lot of pieces. Yeah, I was, I was saying earlier, always chores to do, be it cutting wood or hauling water jugs. Um, do you ever relax, lounge? I do, but Lisbeth and Nils, I don't think they do. <laughs> I like to relax. Mm -hmm. Some of the dogs are already not alive. That was a hard run. Some are still waiting maybe for food. Um, so soon, or water. The first water goes to the dogs. All the booties are wet. A bit of a walk around of the cabin. This is our cabin. I'm trying to charge all the devices. beds. Is everybody ready to go? Tell me. Ryan, so tell me about this trip. Where are we going? How far are we from our destinations? Yeah, today we're in the White Mountain National Recreation Area and we started at Wickersham Dome. Um, we're headed out to Moose Creek Cabin today. How um, far is it? 16 miles. From where we started? From where we started and we've gone about nine so far um, passing the first cabin that we could have stayed at if we wanted to go just a few miles. <laughs> uh, 16 miles today and then tomorrow another 10 miles to Crowberry Cabin and that's uh, the farthest out into the mountains that we're going to get on this trip and then we'll return back over the next two days. How are the dogs doing? It looks to me like they're still doing great. They have some um, snacks. They've been running really well. Haven't had to help them out too much at all yet, and they're pretty energized. <laughs> Some of them lo lost their booties. Booties. <laughs> yeah, before we get ourselves going again, we'll check their feet. Any of the booties that are off, we'll make sure they don't have any snowballs, and we'll put new booties on them.
today is a different kind of day. The sign finally came out and the tundra is also much more beautiful than before. We came from over there, the sun is to my left, and the western sky is clear, which means only one thing. Tonight, we'll see the aurora. Hopefully, of course. A little bit of a walk around of the sled. So this is their quarters. That's where the musher lives. This here is called a drag brake, drag pad, and that's to slow down the pace. So for the most part, you end up standing here and controlling this. This is a brake. So, sing sing. This is the, I call it anchor, I don't know what the exact name, the rear one. This is a sled bag. Most of the stuff goes in here. Put my camera and bag here in a second. This is the main line. And off of it, there are tag lines for each one of the dog. And this front anchor to keep the line taut while we harness the dogs. And of course, the harnesses come in different sizes and the sizes. Distinguished, distinguished based on this color. We are climbing uphill, so I changed just a sweater so I can kick and run behind the sled, help the dogs uphill. Four days hot to hot dog sledding expedition in the White Mountains of Alaska was an amazing experience, one that I will cherish for the rest of my life. <laughs>